I decided I want to be a musician like from the moment that I saw that group crisscross, I was like, yo, I can do this too. You know, prior to that, making music was kind of a fantasy to me, but seeing crisscross and then seeing the band Minor Threat, seeing them be like teenagers making music, working class people making music, told me that I could do it myself. Looking forward, barely looking back at all. Looking forward, gave my all for it all day. Two things really inspired me to make music. One is my love of music. I really say that before being a musician, I'm a fan first. Every time I hear a great song, I'm inspired to get back at it. Another thing that inspires me is just life itself. You know, I'm, I really try to look at my real life and the real lives lived around me. The best music and the best art comes from your real life experiences. So I try to accumulate a lot of those and I tap into those memories and those lessons and those experiences when I want to create something great. I love performing. It's my absolute favorite part of being a musician. I feel like being on stage is when I get to really express myself in the most genuine and authentic and best way possible. Because on stage, I can improvise. I can feed off the crowd. I can do things that are just really special to that time and place that I'm at when I am performing. And that's the real gift of this, this whole thing. Partnering with Coors Light is important to me because Coors Light offers the chance to touch people that may have never heard of Fat Tony. And not just my music, but my message and my overall vibe which I think, and I'm a little biased, I think more people need to get with. And I really respect Coors Light for reaching out to an artist like, like me, someone who is independent, someone who is from the underground, someone who is from Houston. What keeps me moving forward in my career is, is knowing that there's always more to get out of this. You know, throughout your life, hopefully, you'll evolve as, as an artist time and time again and try different stuff, and that's, what I want my life to be. I want to still be a creative person when I'm 60, 70, 80. You know, as, as long as I'm lucky to be here, I want to keep making music or keep making something that means a lot to me. One day, one day.